Japan is located on the Pacific Ring of Fire, which makes it one of the most earthquake-prone countries in the world. But despite this, the country has developed a comprehensive approach to minimize the damage caused by these natural disasters. This was the scene in 2011, when a 9.0 magnitude earthquake hit Japan, causing widespread damage and a devastating tsunami. But thanks to the steps that Japan has taken, the country is able to minimize the impact and quickly recover from any upcoming disasters. So what exactly does Japan do to prepare for earthquakes? Let's take a deep dive into Japan's approach to earthquakes, exploring the technology, the community spirit, and the lessons that the world can learn from this remarkable nation. The first step in Japan's incredible journey to surviving earthquakes is the implementation of strict building codes. This is a critical component of Japan's strategy, as it sets the foundation for building structures that can withstand the powerful earthquakes that regularly strike the country. Japan's building codes are among the strictest in the world, requiring structures to be designed and built with earthquakes in mind. This means that buildings must be able to move and sway with the earthquake instead of collapsing, which can save countless lives. But how exactly do they make buildings earthquake resistant? This is where the magic happens. As Japan employs a combination of advanced technology and engineering principles to design buildings that can withstand the forces of an earthquake. One of the key technologies used in Japan is seismic dampers. These are special devices that are installed in buildings to absorb and dissipate the energy from an earthquake. They work by using hydraulic or pneumatic systems to counteract the forces of the earthquake and reduce the damage caused to the building. In addition to seismic dampers, Japan also uses base isolation systems to prevent damage from earthquakes. This involves installing rubber bearings or sliding plates under the building, which act as a barrier between the building superstructure and the ground substructure. During an earthquake, these systems allow the building to move and sway with the earthquake instead of collapsing. Japan's engineers also utilize computer simulations and earthquake engineering principles to design buildings. They take into account the specific characteristics of earthquakes in the area, such as the magnitude, frequency, and type of seismic waves, and use this information to design structures that can withstand these forces. And the results speak for themselves. Thanks to these strict building codes, combined with the use of advanced technology and engineering principles, Japan has been able to minimize the damage caused by earthquakes, despite being located on the Pacific Ring of Fire, one of the most earthquake-prone areas in the world. This is just the first step in Japan's comprehensive approach to surviving earthquakes, but it's a crucial one. By making sure that buildings are designed and built to withstand earthquakes, Japan is able to protect its people and minimize the damage caused by these natural disasters. And that's a story worth telling. The next step in Japan's approach to surviving earthquakes is the widespread use of early warning systems. These systems use a network of sensors to detect earthquakes and provide an early warning to people in the affected area, giving them enough time to evacuate to a safe place. In Japan, these early warning systems are integrated into everyday life, from trains and elevators to public broadcasting systems. This means that people can receive warning alerts on their phones or through loudspeakers in public areas, allowing them to take action and evacuate to safety before the earthquake strikes. This early warning system has proven to be incredibly effective in saving lives, as people have been able to evacuate buildings and take cover in safe areas before the full force of the earthquake hits. In addition to early warning systems, Japan also has a well-coordinated disaster response system in place. This system involves a range of agencies, including the fire department, the police, and the military, who work together to respond to earthquakes and other natural disasters. 
In the event of an earthquake, these agencies are able to quickly mobilize resources and respond to the disaster, providing aid to those who need it and working to restore essential services as quickly as possible. This coordination and efficiency is critical to ensuring that people receive the help they need and that communities can recover as quickly as possible. Finally, the last piece of the puzzle in Japan's approach to surviving earthquakes is the education and awareness of its citizens. The government and organizations in Japan place a strong emphasis on educating people about earthquakes and how to stay safe during these events. Schools in Japan regularly hold earthquake drills, teaching students what to do in the event of an earthquake and how to evacuate safely. This training not only prepares students for earthquakes, but it also helps to instill a sense of awareness and preparedness in the population at large. In addition to education, Japan also places a strong emphasis on public awareness campaigns and communication efforts. This includes providing information about earthquake preparedness, as well as providing regular updates about earthquakes and other natural disasters. By educating and raising awareness among its citizens, Japan is able to ensure that people are prepared and know what to do in the event of an earthquake, which can save lives and minimize the damage caused by these natural disasters. However, it's important to note that Japan's approach to surviving earthquakes is not just a set of passive measures. The country is constantly striving to improve and update its earthquake preparedness, investing in research and development to create new technologies and systems that can better protect its people and minimize the impact of disasters. Japan is also at the forefront of research into earthquake prediction, working to develop more accurate and reliable methods for predicting earthquakes before they occur. This could allow people to evacuate and take cover even earlier, potentially saving even more lives in the event of an earthquake. In addition, Japan is also exploring new and innovative ways to reduce the damage caused by earthquakes, such as developing new materials for buildings and improving the design of infrastructure to make it more resistant and ensure its longevity. Overall, Japan's approach to surviving earthquakes is a model for the rest of the world, showing the importance of being prepared, investing in technology, and building a culture of awareness and resilience. By following the example set by Japan, we can all be better prepared to face the challenges posed by earthquakes and other natural disasters. A nation that has faced the fury of the earth head on and emerged victorious through a combination of cutting edge technology, well-coordinated disaster response, and a culture of awareness and resilience. Think about it. Japan is located in one of the most earthquake prone regions in the world. And yet, time and time again, it has demonstrated its ability to weather the effects of these natural disasters, protect its people, and quickly recover from the damage caused. Japan's early warning systems give people precious seconds to evacuate. To take cover, to save their lives. The strict building codes, designed to withstand the forces of nature, have proven their worth time and time again, minimizing the damage to buildings and infrastructure and saving countless lives. So what can the world learn from Japan's earthquake strategies? It's simple. Be prepared, invest in technology, and build a culture of awareness and resilience. By following Japan's example, the world can be better equipped to face the challenges posed by earthquakes and other natural disasters. In the end, Japan's approach to surviving earthquakes is a testament to the power of the human spirit, the importance of preparation, and the incredible impact that technology and community can have when they work together. And that's a wrap for this video on Japan's strategies for surviving earthquakes. If you found this video interesting and informative, be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content. Your support means the world to us, and it helps us to continue creating high quality videos that educate and inspire. So until next time, stay safe and keep learning. Thank you for watching.